Hello everyone and welcome to NS Explained. My name is Andrew and today I would like to talk about how to stake ICP in the NNS using the Ledger device. And why would you do that to begin with? Internet identity gives you easy access to your NNS account from your computer or your phone. But if you want to add an extra layer of security, using a Ledger device can help. Even if someone gets access to your computer, if you have neurons staked using the Ledger device, they will not be able to access those neurons or the ICP that you hold using the Ledger device. So let's get started. I have my Ledger Nano right here and I'll connect it to my computer using a USB-C cable. And if this is your first time going through this process, you will be prompted to set up your Ledger device. So it has this welcome message. Uh, and the way you navigate is you use these two buttons. You can go to the right and left. And then if you press both at the same time, then it's, um, it's like a double click or uh, it's an OK. Now it is prompting me to download the Ledger Live uh, application to a computer. And here, if you go to Ledger's website, you have Ledger Live and you can download it for your, for your operating system. Um, I am using a Mac, but I have already downloaded it. Let me show you here. And going back to the ledger, I need to, I want to set it up as a new device. Double click, creating a pin. For your real ledger, use something sensible. I'll just use four zeros for the test. And pressing the two will save the pin, not confirm. And one more, okay. And in this step, the ledger device is asking me to write down my seed phrase. It will show me the 24 words and it will ask me to write them down one by one. And this is a very important step because if you lose these 24 words, you basically lose access to your, to your ledger device. So make sure you write them down somewhere safe. For example, Ledger gives you this, um, this little paper. I can write down the 24 words and make sure you store this card securely so others don't have access to, access to it, but you remember or always remember where it is. One thing you can do is you, you write the seed phrase down in multiple different cards and then store it in different places so that even if something happened, something were to happen to your apartment or house, you still have uh, another card where you can access your at your afterwards. So, and never, never ever show this the seed phrase to anyone you don't full, completely trust, because anyone who has access to the these twenty four words has complete access to your account. Yes. And now the ledger device will show me the 24 words for me to write down, and it will ask me to confirm to make sure that I have written them down correctly. So I went ahead and written down my seed phrase and confirmed it in the device. Even the ledger device is telling me to keep it in a secure place. If you lose your seed phrase, you lose access to the device. So just to reiterate it. Don't share it with anyone. Um, and here we go. In the next steps, we want to install the internet computer app on the ledger device so that we can start staking in the NMS. Let's go to my ledger in the bottom. Allow access from the ledger device. And now that we're connected from the computer, I can add the internet computer app to the device. Great, let's go now back to the NNS step. I will sign in to my internet identity that we created in the last episode. And in the meantime, we can open up the internet computer app just by clicking the two buttons here. All right. So in order to stake Neuron using the Ledger device, first we have to create a new ICP account here. We want to add an account and this should say the bottom one is a new account hardware wallet. And here, make sure you name your device something you will, that identifies it. So even if you have multiple devices, you will know which one is which. For me, I'll just say NNS explained as this is my demo account. And now we can connect the hardware wallet. It asks me which hardware wallet I want. I only have one connected to the computer. 
And here it gives you the, the principal ID of the ledger device and the account ID. And this is where we want to send ICP to the, to the ledger. If you're using a centralized exchange, it most likely only supports the account identifier, but if you're using an ICP DAP like Plug or Stoic Wallet, then it, it allows you to send to both. Let me just copy this and send some ICP there. Okay, now... Awesome, so here you see already we have the NNS explained hardware wallet controlled ICP account and we already have 1.01 .01 ICP in it. If you haven't sent it before, you can always just click this and copy the address to send ICP. All right, so now we are going to neuron staking and we will stake our ICP with Ledger. You could click stake ICP and you want to select NNS explained. And for now, we'll just take one ICP. And because it is asking an ICP from the NNS explained ledger controlled account, we need to confirm the transaction by reviewing it on the device and confirming. So here it's the, the ledger device that is signing the transaction. One, one ICP says, tell us the fee, memo, and we can just approve by pressing these together. Awesome. So as I said before, it's important to note that the neuron that we're creating now and the ICP sub account called NNS explained that I created a minute ago is controlled by the ledger device. So even if you lose access to your internet identity, but you have access to your ledger device, you can just always create a new internet identity and, and have access to the same account and you will see your neurons and you will, you will be able to control your neurons. However, in order to see the neuron in the NNS tab, we want to add the NNS DAP principle as a hotkey to the ledger, which means the NNS DAP will now have limited access to, to our neurons. And that means you can vote with them, you can start a following with them, but you cannot dissolve them or you cannot spawn maturity without having the physical device. So anything more serious you need to use the ledger device, but for voting you can do that just using the NNS DAP. So we want to add the hotkey. And again, this is something that we have to confirm using the ledger device. And let's set the dissolve delay to six months. Set delay and confirm. I'll have to approve this using the ledger. Let's review transaction. And it says that the transaction type is increased dissolve delay. This is a special transaction uh, specific to the neuron. And it, it tells you how long the result delay is, and we could just approve. Awesome. So we now have the new neuron that is controlled by the, by the ledger, and it says hardware wallet controlled. If you remember, we started following for the, for the neuron that we created using our internet identity. So I want to show you something before we move on. You can always follow this strategy where you have one main neuron where you set up following for external neurons, but you follow this neuron with all your other neurons. So let's say if I have four or five additional neurons, I can just have all of them follow my kind of main neuron and that that main neuron follows other neurons. And this way, whenever you decide to change your following strategy, you can simply just change the following on the, on the main neuron and have the other ones follow this main neuron. So let me first copy the ID of what I'm, I'm calling main neuron. And down here, all except governance. As we discussed in previous episodes, you can set up following different neurons for each topic. But in order to ensure that you're voting on every proposal, you want to set up these three. As it says, all except governance and SNS neuron fund. So I want to follow my neuron here. But then in order to cover governance and SNS and neurons fund, I set up following separately. And now, now we have both of our neurons correctly set up with following one controlled by my internet identity, which is the one at the top, and then one controlled by my hardware wallet. One more thing we can do is when it comes to tokens, 
Here, if I want to store ICP, I can also store it on the Ledger hardware wallet instead of storing it in my main ICP account. So in order to store, you can just use this address and, and send ICP to the address. But if you want to send the ICP from your hardware wallet, then you have to come here. And now let me see if I can just send simply to the same address as a test. I'll send 0 0.01. 0 0.001 continue and of course because this is controlled by the ledger hardware wallet you will have to confirm the transaction using the ledger hardware wallet connected to our computer please review and then it says from 571 to 571 of course this is a dummy transaction but it illustrates the point set the fee amount and we can just simply approve. Awesome. One last thing before we wrap up today's video. In order to use all the latest functionality of the NNS dev, you will need to be running the latest firmware version on your on your ledger device. So now if you go here, um, you have 2.2.4 on the ledger hardware wallet the software version of the Ledger hardware wallet. And here on ICP, you have 2.4.9. So I'm running the latest version. If you just got a new device, you may not be running the latest version of the, of the firmware, which means you will have to come here and, and update your Ledger. It will prompt you on the top to update the Ledger hardware. And, and on the device, you can confirm the update and install the new software. And that's all I wanted to talk about in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice day. Thank you.